Hi and welcome to Learn to Play Hymns Lesson 4. This week we're looking at a new key and it's the key of G major. So our hymn for this week is number 164 in the Living Hymns hymn book and that's Nothing But the Blood of Jesus and I'll also link the music in the description below. So with the key of G major, the significant feature is the key signature which is one sharp and that's F sharp. So that means that every time you play an F in your music, you're going to raise it by a semitone and you're going to play an F sharp instead of an F natural. So your technical work for this week is going to be the scale of G major, one octave in the right hand. So your starting position will be the G below middle C and I'll demonstrate this to you on the piano. So just remember that in this scale, any F is going to be raised and be an F sharp, but the good news is that the fingering is exactly the same as your C major scale. By now you're really familiar with the C major chord and now that we're in the key of G major, we're going to have a look at the G major chord and you'll find it works in a really similar manner to C major. So a G major chord is made of the first, the third and the fifth notes of the G major scale. So as you can see, there's a G on the bottom, there's a B above that, and then a D above that. So that's our basic G major chord, and it's in root position. Just like the C major chord though, we can also have it in two inversions. So if we look at the image, the second image we can see it's the same three notes, G, B and D, but they're simply in a different order. So the B is at the bottom, then the D, and then the G is on top. So this is our first inversion position. And next to that, you can see our second inversion. So the D, which was on the top in the first chord, is now on the bottom with the other two notes above that. So that's our second inversion. So it works exactly the same. We're just working with a different grouping of notes. So your homework for this week will be to go through your music of nothing but the blood and this time I want you to analyse and identify the G major chords and whether they're in root position, first inversion or second inversion. In the hymn you can see that we have a G at the bottom, a B on top and then in the treble clef we have the D and the G. So it's a very simple G major chord. We know it's in root position because the G is on the bottom. So just circle that, work your way through, you're looking for G chords. And when I have a quick look at that first line, the only G chords that we have there, they're all in a root position. So it should be really, really easy for you to identify. Just go through, circle all of your G major chords, identify if they're in root, first inversion or second inversion. You should be pros at this. And if you're feeling like a bit of extra theory, and if there's any C chords in there, give them a circle as well because you're really familiar with them. G major, one octave in the right hand. And the hymn for this week is Nothing But The Blood. We'll be playing the melody and the alto in the right hand. So it'll sound like this. hand will be the single note of the bass. So when you play the hymn with the left hand you can play all of the notes or you can play main beats so because it's 4-4 four, four, our main beats will be 1 and 3. But where the bass note changes, you want to incorporate that change into your left hand. So in the left hand, in the first bar, you might play the first beat, the third beat, but then you play the fourth beat as well because it's the chord is changing. So you want to play the D and then go back to the G for the first beat of the second bar. So kind of play around with that and just see what sounds good. So hands together, the hymn will sound something like this. 